this is common for like every single game in the world and this is common for like every single like freaking tactic in the world you're not going to get better at shooting movement mechanics using different weapons and stuff if you don't do it um and that was completely that was completely intentional i was thinking of that the entire time p2 um i know exactly where to start practicing and um you like the helpful teaching and advice style let the roast, roasting slash growth mindset in. All right, so here we go. This this um this opening kind of sucks, um because if you go down here, this like gives you barely any any information. Like there's nothing. I've only played interference like a total of, like I don't know fifty times. But like you can intuitively think of things. Like even if you go down here, like what can you see? You know, it's the same thing with like last game. It's like what do you see? Like what you don't you don't really get anything on the map. There's nothing here. There's nothing like important here. OS isn't even up. There's barely even anything of value by being here. Sure you can put one person here just to like have a place, like have somebody watching this angle, but this guy's going to it. Um if I were you, I would take up space on the map. Okay, so you guys are spawning here and just think about the rollout. Where where do you think they're going to do? Like what do you think they're going to be doing? Here, there you go you're going here um and yeah you can't really see anything it's like really bad like it's just not like it's not a good spot to be i wouldn't invest more than one person here um but here there's a power weapon right here um and if you walk up here you can get into the thruster there's like a thruster somewhere around here um and if you walk out over here there's a sniper it's like i wouldn't invest going down here it's like so pointless you know what i mean it's just like you can't see anyone like say that um say that they walk out you can't see anyone from like anywhere you can't see anyone here uh you can barely catch somebody here no one's gonna drop down onto their point um they're probably gonna walk up to tower and stuff um so yeah you want to be thinking of like what's on the map and like what you can take um because i would just immediately go for thruster or the heat wave um or the sniper which I don't know why it wasn't showing on your thing. You want to be taking up like any high ground, especially before OS is coming up. Cause like, like right now you're not seeing anything and you don't know what's going on. It, it went exactly how I thought it was going to go. Like you didn't see a single thing. You're like, what the hell? Where is everyone? There's some, there's someone over here. Um, and yeah, you can't be out in the open now. There's a guy in the hill there and there's a guy over there. I would just fucking run. You don't want to ever be out in the open. And see like <laughs> like completely lost and it's because the enemy team did take up all this space they got the heat wave they walked over here got the yeah, they got b you know and you were just vibing here the entire time off a of rollout i want to say this off a of rollout you want to put something in your arsenal that will give you an advantage anything so there's things that like come to my mind weapons utilities power positions, grenades, anything in, that you can put right into your pocket that, that will help you win your battle, your potential is gonna skyrocket. The reason why I do super good all the time, like the reason why I can drop triple kills, double kills consistently, it's not because like, I mean, it, it's part of it that I, I have good aim and stuff, but like, it's because like, you don't, you're not thinking of things like, being on the high ground, like I have high ground advantage, I have cover advantage, I have a thrust in my pocket, I have extra grenades and stuff. Like I have, I put these things purposely in my pocket to give myself an advantage. That's what you want to do. Off, off, like spawn. Off spawn, off like rollout, um, you want to do that. So yep, now you want to look at this OS. Good, that guy's dead. I wouldn't even jump for this, this is dangerous. <coughs> Guy down here. Good. Nice. Oh man, you're out in the open. It is what it is. It is what it is. Um, you have to- sometimes you just have to invest into stuff like that. It's okay, dude. You're gonna be up in 10 seconds. It's whatever. What sucks is that you guys are losing points. You're in- you're in like the worst spawn possible. My girlfriend hates this spot on this map. She freaking despises spawning here. She literally mentally gaps every time, um, she spawns here. So, um, at this point, you need to make a decision. It looks like you're deciding to go help the guy in C, which is not a bad decision. Um, and there's a guy in C now. You're, you're pivoting this basically, um, and you just you just saw two people. So 
<laughs> you have to really believe in yourself to out out fight this. Good nades. Um, and good good DM. Like to see it. Uh, after you get this kill, dude, you know where the other guy is, right? He's on the hill somewhere, right? So just like, so just like walk up, dude. You, you know he's on the hill. You know, it's like little reaction things and stuff. Like you have to just do that on reaction, um, because if you mess around too much. Or if you like hesitate too much, then you're gonna get caught uh, caught out like that happened. But good, solid, you know, solid, solid gameplay. Um, off spawn, you have to get this kill. Oh lord, dude, what is that strafe? Oh my god. Um, and I'm not, I'm not. Oh, that sucks. Yeah, that's where just that's where aim comes in in handy. Um, you out. Hit that guy. Nice. I mean, hey, it's a little messy. It is what it is, dude. You're P2. So it's like, whatever. Um, And I'm not seeing you doing a lot of, like, movement stuff. You have to be really comfortable with um the movement stuff. Your FOV looks like it's really low. Is it, like, 95 or something? It's pretty low. Nice. Good support. Great. Now, now what you're doing is you're trying to block bunker or something? Perhaps you, you just want to maintain this. This is not a bad decision. I'm not gonna lie, not a bad decision. However, the way of um the way about going your your decision making here, it's a completely fine decision to want to maintain your hill and not give up a. Because if you think about it, like if you think about it, if you give up a, you have to go through the process of capping C, and then they have to cap A, and in that entire process. You're not gaining any points. So I do like the defense play here. Um, but their your way of going about it um needs to be better because <coughs> you're just standing on a hill and you're not doing anything. If you want to block bunker, go up to it, you know? And this is common for like every single game in the world, and this is common for like every single like freaking tactic in the world. High ground advantage. Get yourself some height. Height equals, technically, it equals cover. Um, so yeah, get yourself some height. Especially tower two, important. Very important. High ground advantage. If, you, if you're in high ground, most of the time, it's an advantage. Most of the time. There are some, like, things here and there that, like, kind of negate it. Um, I would say, like, well, the most common one I can think of is uh, Aquarius, where you stand out um, on the high ground, and you're out, technically, you're out in the open. Um, to like other crosses and stuff but in general high ground advantage so yeah get up into bunker get up into uh get up into tower two um but i like the thought process here of wanting to block this and i hope you understand that you want to do that oh and look he spawned bunker because we didn't block it but should win this piv nice back out good wait the shields good High ground, maybe? Good. You get stuck, trade out that kill. No matter, you guys are getting points. Immediately, so like right now, you kill this guy, make the, like don't hesitate. Don't hesitate at all. Get over here to where the fight's going on at A. I can hear them fighting, They're, they need help. Um, You want to be exerting as much map control as possible. Because you going in here does nothing. Unless you're here to grab the thing. Um, but yeah, uh, if you guys are trying to invest into C, I just think it was a bad investment. It's way easier to play defense and offense. I'm not going to lie, but you guys do invest into C. Now you guys have to cap it. You see, it's this whole loop before you even gain points. You have to fully cap this play for that OS. It's coming up in 10 seconds. Um, it sucks that it's like you're down here though. Don't run away from the OS. This is such a, oh my God. Someone else on your team got it. Oh my god. Don't do that. If you're if the OS is up, don't run away from it. Unless you think someone's coming this way, don't run away from it. Dang fam, I hesitates too much. It's annoying. Um it is what it is, dude. You don't know what's going on. Like you, you don't have the game sense, you know? So of course you're gonna hesitate. The thing I like to say is I want you to be put in a very stressful situation, like anything like that has been going on. Make a an immediate decision and commit to that decision and then if you mess like if it doesn't work out or if it's like if it sucks or whatever you can 
look at it after and be like, okay, I won't ever make this goddamn decision again if that happens, you know? Because, um, that stuff matters. Also, don't leave the OS like that. <coughs> it worked out somehow because, um, they weren't paying attention to you at all. Um, and I like this play. Going back to C to block. I like that. Um, you could have, you could have went to, could have went to A. Um, the thing that sucks about this is, I mean, I wouldn't commit this far onto C. Like, I wouldn't drop down, for sure. Like, this is a good play. The execution of it is, is subpar. Um, so, yeah. You, you want to just put pot shots, right? You, you don't want to, like, you don't want to commit into a, into a fight. Obviously, they're going to spawn up. Um, and you could just, like, you could literally, it's just simple. Like, you come here, pick that up, you shoot them once or twice, they are like, they, they know you're there now, and then you just walk away. Completely fine. At least you live, you know? There's no point, I mean, like, you don't need to stand on the point to, to defend it, you know what I mean? Um, and you're gonna get cleaned up. Um, and you're gonna spawn a bunker. Good. That's weird, why wouldn't you take this fight? You got the first shot? I would just jiggle it and fight it. Um... I know you're not confident in your mechanics, but you're not gonna get you're not gonna get good at D scope battles. You're not gonna get good at close range battles like Chewie has been going on in my Twitch chat. Um, you're not gonna get good at that if you don't if you don't try it. Um, if you think about it, if you get knocked down to like one HP here, it's not like he can do anything to follow it up. Like it's not like he can like kill you, you know. So why not just limit test it, right? If you want to, um, if you want to win the game, probably don't do it. It'd be a waste of time. But I would say if you're trying to maximize learning, which is what my philosophy is. I want to maximize learning as much as possible. <laughs> Just ego challenge. Just do it. Like learn, learn something out of trying to fight him. You know, like you could be jiggling. You could do a. So what I did um, earlier is I did a I did a jiggle into a wide swing. Um, and that's just because I was freaking. I I have like this experience. I can try to pull it up for you. I'm gonna try to pull it up for you real quick. All right. You can see this. I, I I saw he's like ticked a bit of health. He gets first shot at me. I get two shots. We're right now we're equal health. Right now. I'm gonna I'm gonna do this. Watch this. You're gonna see this. It's amazing. And this is like this is like this is like reading each other basically on the arena. Um he's gonna take me down to one health. I'm really relying on my movement here where I'm going to walk. I'm gonna do like a jiggle peek and try to like put a pot shot in him. I miss. I'm gonna do it again. He, he hits me in my body. Okay, I'm like, okay, this dude, he can shoot. All right? So, I I have basically, I'm, I'm, I'm conditioning him right now, basically. I am, I'm, I'm straight up conditioning him that I'm just going to keep jiggle peeking this, right? I'm, so now, he's so conditioned that I'm going to jiggle peek, and he still has two shots into him. Like, he still, I still have to hit two shots. So, he hits me here on my body. I have done a jiggle peek like three times on him. I've jiggled this corner three three times. I've conditioned him to look for a um look for a jiggle peek, right? You see what I watch this watch the strafe here. I'm gonna jump and I'm going to approach it from a, a higher angle. So now he's aimed at my head, but my head is not my head. It's on my feet now. So you're gonna see right here, he he he's like in the middle of throwing a nade because he thinks I'm just gonna jiggle like permanently. Um, and I, I'll play it easily. Those like that, those little like things are so satisfying when you get that, when you put that stuff off, um, when you pull that stuff off, especially when you do it against freaking professionals. So yeah, like those little things really matter. What a high IQ move. Yeah. I appreciate that. Um, and that was completely, that was completely intentional. I was thinking of that the entire time. I was like, I, I conditioned him to think that I was, that, that I was just going to keep jiggling it. And I, and then I ended up jump peeking and, and then he was like, oh shoot, he was, he's in the middle of a jump. Like now I have to adjust my aim and I end up dropping him because of it. That's just a recommendation for you to do for D scope battles. Also D scope battles. <coughs> There's a lot I can talk about for D scope battles, but um, that's for another day. I was just want, I just wanted to show you like the potential that you can have. I didn't even realize that as a strat. Yeah, you don't really think about this stuff until like you actually like get into it. You know what I mean? Yeah. At that should be a kill. You have to chase this. You have to kill him. It is what it is. You have to kill. 
Okay, you reset it. It's fine. Completely fine. If you die here, whatever. And you get a melee. Good. Um, it optimally, you'd want to kill him way earlier, but hey, not, not even I can hit 100% of my shots. So, whatever. It is what it is. Uh, but yeah, this is solid. You're doing a really good job of playing your life. Um, so that's pretty good. Uh, okay. And here's like a, here's like another little micro... The things I've been telling you right now, like about the disco battle and stuff, I call them, um... I call them like micro strategies. Like there's macro strategies and then there's micro strategies. Um, so micro strategies has everything to do with you and your immediate area. Macro strategy is like looking down at the map and like putting chess pieces down. That's what macro strategies are. And right now this is a micro strategy. Um, you're getting shot at behind you, dude, take cover. You know, you know, he's going to chase, just take cover. And are you going to win this fight? Probably not, but you can delay him for like an extra two seconds, you know? Um, there's cover right here. You can jiggle, you can out, you can outplay with your movement in some kind of way. Um, that's the, that's the, that's the beauty of Halo Infinite. Um, and it's a, it's long, it's relatively long TTK. Um, time to kill, sorry. Um, you can, you have a lot of outplay potential and if those who can harness that outplay potential flourish there's literally a guy right there. i don't know where you went maybe he heard you okay so this is a piv now this is a fight oh man don't do that damn ah <laughs> this is just me thinking of i'm um, thinking of it if it was me right here i'd fight him i i there's probably someone behind him i would fight him i would fight him and i would limit test it if it was me I limit test it. Will you lose? Probably. Will I lose? If if this guy was on, if this guy was like a professional or something, even if he wasn't a professional, there's I could probably lose. But it's not about that. It's about if I do lose, what am I gonna learn from it? You know, like how can I play that fight better? So if that ever happens again, I will be better prepared. That that just comes with like the mindset of of not caring about winning. Um, because I want to max once again. Mindset is maximizing learning good job that you picked up this this br here see this is the thing i was talking about earlier um you put you pick up a weapon it, you have this in your pocket or whatever and it it just gives you more potential it just gives you straight up more potential okay so you run out of ammo all good you have another gun potential so even if you didn't get cleaned up there your potential was high like you could have probably finished up up yourself Oh, you'll win it. Oh, I like that. I like that. I like that. Not a lot of people think about this. This is, this is, um, this is like panic shooting, but I like this, what you do here. Not a lot of people think about this. Look how patient you are. Look at the, look at this patience. Like you, you wait to line it up and then you shoot, right? Good. Um, that is a good habit. You want to keep that habit. Accurate shooting over, over, um, spam shooting any day. Because accurate shooting is something you can build up with consistency. Like you can build that up consistently. When it comes to um, like spam shooting and just hoping that you hit them in the head, you can. There's no consistency in that. So I like what you did here. You slot. You stopped. And even though you missed, it doesn't matter. Like the point of the the point of it is that you stopped shooting and you tried to aim. And if you just keep building up those habits and stuff guarantee you are going to climb. I guarantee it. And you end up winning the battle anyway, because he's probably spam shooting. Like you can see it. Boom, 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 boom. He's just shooting. All right. Um, I don't know why you want to just keep, keep fighting that. Um, it, it seems that you're not very confident in your movement. And if this is like any Onyx player, honestly, I would just G slide this. Like I would just curb slide this. And you probably would have melted him. You probably would have killed him. And it seems like you're not confident in your movement. So what I would say to do is this kind of the same thing I said yesterday, where you go and fight bots and I would focus on movement and then um, aim. I want you to be able to pick up this, con like pick up the controller and be in a game. And I want you to be like so confident in your movement. Like I want you to like 
run around and hit curb slides like i you're not going to get good at it by not doing it you know what i mean you're not going to get good at curb sliding if you don't try it um you're not going to get good at crouch jumping clambering stuff you're not going to get it good at it if you don't do it this is how i would teach a platinum player that wants to rank up fast i would say you every game you have to be limit testing like you have to be limit testing every freaking game are you going to lose games probably but in the long run you're going to come out on top yeah, I want you to be super, super confident in your movement. Like, I want you to be curb sliding around the map, hitting all the jumps. Like, it, it should be just come second nature to you. So here, so here's like another little game sense thing, like a little micro strategy. Um, you melee swap weapons. Why? Because the BR is so much more forgiving than the DMR at close range when they're one shots. Obviously, basically in a burst, you have three chances for your reticle to go over their head versus a DMR one chance. If you had the BR here, like you could just like, you could like really crappily aim and then just bring it to his head and probably kill him. So yeah, it's a little macro, macro strategy. You end up winning, so it's like whatever. You scope battling could use a little work, but that just comes with time and experience. Um, so yeah. And um, right now you don't want to be fighting them like this unless uh, the guy on your left is shooting at them. Cross mapping is doing nothing for you right now because you guys aren't gaining points. You shouldn't even be bothering fighting for this, honestly, um, because it's just pointless. You guys are just trading health over and over. I would just like give up on this. Or if your aim is like goaded, then you could just like melt them. But right now you're just doing nothing. Um, you guys are just like stalemate fighting while they're gaining points. I was hoping to be annoying to let my team flank, but like if you think about it, like cross mapping does nothing here like it just literally does nothing because like if they try to go flank they're they're you're losing points right now so they're probably just going to go straight to a players especially low low elo players they'll see that you're losing objective and they'll immediately go to the objective so no one's thinking that far ahead even in my games no one's thinking that far ahead in my brain i would be thinking they're just going to go for a so might as well go help the people at a you know it doesn't seem that you're confident at all in your stuff and that's completely fine um but for you to be confident at doing this stuff you have to be putting yourself in these in, in these risky situations and what's going to happen is you're going to lose a lot but what's important is that you learn from that loss trust me dude i'm not 1800 i'm not 18 1900 onyx because i win a lot I lost so much like I ego challenge professionals that have been playing this game for 12 years and at this point in time right now I can I can I'm on par with them like as in in in, in a dueling sense so like this guy right here dude you're full shields he's one shield just go freaking fight him you know like just go fight him I mean you do it a little bit too late but I would just walk right at him and fight him and believe in yourself and if you lose, whatever, man. You have 10 seconds to spawn. Freaking turn off your monitor. I'm not actually though, but like, like, just turn off like all your thoughts and be like, damn, that sucked. I lost. What could I? What could I have done to win that? What did I have to do to win that? And you'll see that a lot in my streams where I'm like, oh damn, I had to. Damn, I had to like move my crosshair up more to the left. Or oh damn, he played the corner really well. I had to do a jump at the end. Or something like that you know <coughs> what would it what did i have to do to win that fight you're really good you're really aware for for platinum too i i respect this i mean it, you died but <coughs> at least you're aware take the take the wins that you can all right so you can spawn up here os is coming up um you guys are losing points currently a is being taken c is being traded um, you guys are pressured for the hill. You need to just you need an eight mode 420 run at the hill right now because you guys are gonna lose. Um, and I don't think you're actually aware of that. Uh, it just worked out on the other side. I don't know if you're calming with these guys. Are you calming with these guys? How'd you know that that was gonna happen? Um, now you're trying to be mindful of spawns. Kind of rough. You have to take this fight. You have to take it. Very close. Oh, you traded. Nice. Oh, man. That was a clock stop, too. Look at that. Wow. See, I can tell you're hesitating here. I, I can tell you're afraid to fight him. Halo is a, is a game about fighting people, dude. Don't be afraid. If you lose, you lose. You know? Freaking wide swing this dude and out-aim him. 
And if you don't, you lose. Who cares? Play next game. Just learn from it. <laughs> you can't avoid fighting, so just do it. You know what I mean? It's the point of the game. This is where I differ from more people. Um, people would often take the the um the more consistent option here not me dude if you lose this battle here you will lose the game and are you willing to bet that on yourself i'm willing to bet it on myself i'm gonna bet it on myself because when it when when the when the stakes are high and stuff you have to be betting it on yourself and those those like those things really matter like those that kind of mindset really matters that it's gonna make you climb easy but it looks like you guys are maintaining this um, and it seems like you're a little lost right now, um, and you're fighting another piv, uh, he hits you with the nades. It would have helped if your movement was, if you were confident in your movement, because like I said, you have a lot of options right here. You have a lot of options right here. You don't have to necessarily fight here. Like you can jump up here. You can walk over here. Like you can jump, do a, do a jump right here. You can actually jump all the way up, um, and, um, and like shoot him, like get a pot shot onto him. You can jiggle peek this and do a pot shot into into a jump uh here or you can jiggle peek this into a jump up here clamber this and then like like you have a lot of options that just comes with experience and once again improving the movement if you can like translate your thoughts into that game you're gonna improve 100 percent. but you're very aware just be mindful of the things that i was um I was talking about in this really get down your movement and aim is decent but you can always be improving um aim all the time all right uh next vod review put myself as put myself in risky situations love to love to learn through taking risk grow in movement mechanics that's the stuff i do yep you're not gonna get better at shooting movement mechanics using different weapons and stuff if you don't do it you know if you don't use it you're not gonna get better humans do better by practicing you know um yeah, same thing with uh, a video game.